good evening, everyone. I will call the uh, meeting of the Planning and Zoning Commission to order. Thank you all for coming tonight and doing your part to keep the city running. Uh, approval of the March 10th, 2020 minutes. I move, I move they be approved as submitted. We have a, a, a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion of those minutes? No. If not, all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed the same? Motion passed. Council liaison report. Is Michael with us? Michael is. We should see him on the screen there, third one down. Good evening, Michael. Good evening. I'm just testing. Uh, can everybody hear? Yeah, All right, that's good to hear. Well, good evening. Um, for council report, we had our first uh, electronic meeting um, last Monday. Um, it went well. Uh, we learned some things, so we are obviously doing this again for tonight. Uh, during the times, uh, we all know why we're doing it. Um, I'll just recap. Um, not a whole lot to go through, but um, we we went over some road committee items, and if anybody has any questions specifically on that, we can go over that. Um, I have to bring that up again. Um, otherwise, we did approve the um, rezoning request for Bushman property that the TMZ had forwarded on to us, um, and we also accepted the bids for the shared road project for the Oswald Road. Any questions of Michael? No. Thank you, Michael. All right, thank you. Open forum number one. Anyone? We, we have the mayor with us. If not, I will close open forum number one. Pardon? He said he doesn't have anything to say to you, though. Okay. Thank you, Tom. I will close open forum number one and move to uh, a public hearing uh, for a variance request. Aaron Baruch, uh, 8627 Ski Chalet Drive to construct an airport game. Is Aaron with us by video? He left. He was here. Left. No, we're in the air. Are you going to speak to us? Um, I was hoping Aaron would deliver some comments. He just vanished. Well, I will open that public hearing, and uh, when he returns, would it work, Jerry, for you to do your staff review before the presentation of the application? I can. Okay. Maybe he'll be back. Uh, hey, you're, in your packet, you do have a, a copy of the staff report. Um, the applicant is Aaron Baruch. Uh, the legal description is lot 46, 47, 48 of the 8th edition. Jerry, I'm going to turn this off because we were getting feedback. So okay. you're going to speak into that mic. Lots 46, 47, 48 of the 8th edition to Breezy Point Estates. Uh, the address of the, there's an existing hangar uh, on the, one of the, or part of these lots. Uh, that address is 8627 Ski Chalet Drive. The zoning of the property is airport. Uh, the applicable code sections are 153.041 and 153.120. The applicant is requesting a variance to construct a hangar four feet from the right of way. 35 feet from the right of way is what the ordinance requires. 
Uh, the property is part of a 1963 plat. Uh, the property was purchased by Mr. Bruce from the city in 2019. Um, and a hangar was permitted to be built on the property in 2019. Um, the lots about Airport Road to the west and Ski Chalet Drive to the north. Uh, access to the lots are via private drive off of Ski Chalet. Um, there is municipal sewer uh, that they have access to. Again, the zoning is airport. Um, the Airport District has the following zoning ordinance requirements. Lot area, 11,250. Setback right away, 35 feet. Setback rear, 35 feet. And impervious coverage of 50%. Um, definition of a variance. A variance is a legally permitted deviation as provided by MS 462.357, subdivision <coughs> six, as it may be amended from time to time. From the provisions of this chapter as deemed necessary by the Board of, the, of Adjustment. Uh, the Planning Commission is the considered the Board of Adjustment when they're working with variances. Um, um, the ordinance would create a practical difficulty and be impractical because of circumstances relating to lot size, shape, topography, and other characteristics of the property. And when the deviation from the ordinance with any attached conditions will still be in keeping with the spirit and the intent of the ordinance. Variances cannot create a land use not permitted in a zone. Uh, variances must be decided within a reasonable time with consideration for the following. The strict interpretation of the ordinance would be impractical because of circumstances relating to lot size, shape, topography, or other characteristics of the property not created by the landowner. The deviation from the ordinance with the attached conditions will still be in keeping with the spirit and intent of the ordinance. The land use created by the variance is permitted in the zoning district where the property is located. The variance will not alter the essential character of the locality and the variance is not for economic reasons alone, but reasonable use of the property does not exist under the ordinance. Uh, the applicant contends that the practical difficulty is the topography of the lot and the excess right away of Ski Chalet Drive. The area is zoned for hangars. Use, use of a retaining wall to mitigate the topography north and west of the building location. Hangers are consistent with the character of the area and the proposed impervious coverage is 40%. It should be noted that the existing hangar was sited without a survey. Applicant chose not to replace property stakes removed by excavation. The permit for the existing structure was approved after extensive field verification by staff that the building met minimum setbacks. Um, the following may be used to support denial of the variance request. The commission finds no practical difficulty. The applicant's citing of the existing structure caused the need for the variance. <coughs> the following finding of fact may be used to support approval of the variance. The practical difficulty is caused by the extreme topography of the lots and the excessive right of way of the ski chalet. <coughs> Municipal sores of drive is available use is consistent with zoning. Uh, possible considerations or conditions of approval, building permit to be ob obtained, placement of structure and lot to conform to the survey submitted, building and retaining wall, location to be staked by registered land surveyor, surface water to be drained, be directed to a retention as indicated in the survey and easements for the drainage established Drainage and utility easements established for lot lines between Tract A and Tract B. Maintenance agreement established for surface water retention. Uh, building to be constructed to comply with state building code. And uh, there's one other that I have noted that isn't on the report. Um, 
the ingress and egress easement would need to be established if the lots were to be split. And um, there may or may not be some issues with building codes as far as necessity of firewalls in the construction of a new uh, facility. And actually, there could be some implications that the existing structure that's out there may have to comply with firewall um, to our firewall rating. Uh, with that, you do have a copy of the application in your packet. Um, that's all I have. Thank you, Jerry. Could we ask Mr. Bruch to uh, present his proposal at this t at this point? He's not here. <laughs> yes. Hi. Yes. Correct. Yes. Okay. I'm having a little yes. hard time. So, um, I'm asking for this variance. I ordered to place another anchor, build another anchor there on the first floor of the lot. Uh, so, I'm asking for this variance to basically build our, our anchor there, uh, like be able to build another one, and uh, the doctor to do a phone. have each of the individuals speaking identify themselves by their name and their address for the record? 
has Patrick Pat Trottier, Stone Mark Lands for May, uh, PO Box 74, Pequot Lakes, Minnesota. Thank you. And I'm the applicant, Aaron Baruch, and uh, I'll use the address down here. It's 9705 29th Avenue North, Plymouth, 55441. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm sorry if you guys had to ask me any questions. I could not hear uh, anybody on the planning commission on that day, sir. Is there anything else uh, you think we should know at this point in time? Yeah, I mean, just to reiterate, uh, you know, the goal of, of uh, doing this is to grow the airport, bring in and attract a new person uh, to the airport for what its intended uses, uh, to be able to provide a hangar that's sufficient to hold an airplane, uh, which is pretty much what we presented here in the endowment. Very much in line with what the use should be for, and uh, I feel that this would be a great opportunity for the city to have another person come in and use the airport for what's activity. Thank you. Are there any questions of Mr. Bruce or Jerry at this at this point? Uh, this is Tracy. Uh, I have a question uh, on the various requests that said. Property was purchased from the city in 2018. Building permit for hangar issued in 2019. That was the permit for the hangar that has been built. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. I have another question. Okay. Uh, okay. On the uh, on the page that I have that says certificate of survey, it shows. Two hangers. I'm assuming that the one hanger to the south on the certificate is the one that is there now. Yes. And what we're talking about is the one for the one to the north. And I guess my only other question would be the access road from Ski Chalet Drive, will that be constructed in a manner that the fire department can get through down that road and all that stuff? I think it is already. The, the access from the north? Yes. Okay. Anything else, Tracy? Uh, no, sir. Not now. Okay. Mark? Uh, yes, this is Mark Miller. Uh, for the applicant, Aaron, um, I've looked at the topography. I actually visited the site earlier this week. Uh, I should say late last week, sorry. And I, I find that the embankment is going to pose some significant issues to you regardless of the retaining wall uh, that you have in mind. Uh, notably because in the northwest portion of that embankment, there's some considerable erosion occurring. Uh, you know, rocks, boulders, small small rocks, I should say, uh, piled. Are you, you know, what, what are your plans to address that? Aaron, can you hear me now? Uh, 
Okay, and uh, you know, I can confirm that I spoke with the building official, Scott Sadusky, uh, last week in regards to the two hour firewall separation between buildings. Uh, you have two uh, daylight windows on the north side of your existing hangar. You're gonna have to take those out and replace those so that that two hour firewall's consistent. You're aware of that, correct? Okay, uh, and then also, uh, are there any concerns that we should have about the retention pond being adjacent, directly adjacent to the well you currently have on, on the property, which I'm assuming is servicing the existing hangar currently? I guess I, I should have restaged my question. Uh, in regards to well location to septic system, for example, 100 feet of separation, a drain field, is that something that should be taken into consideration for the retention pond and well that's on site? J Jerry, do you know? There, this is on municipal, this would be on municipal sewer, through the, so there is no drain field, there is no septic system. It goes directly into the, uh, the septic goes directly into the municipal system. Right, but with the retention pond being adjacent to the well, is, are there any, you know, are there, are there any concerns we should have? Are there any uh, codes that, 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 we don't, that I don't know about in regards to that? Distancing is what I'm referencing. I don't believe there are. Okay. I, I have no further questions, thanks. Roger, any questions? Uh, this is Roger, and this is directed towards Aaron. The stake that's out there is—is is that the property stake, or is that the right-of-way stake? I guess that might be a question for Jerry also. I think it's the same. It's the same. Well, it's four feet apart, or whatever it is. So the question is, most of the retaining wall will be on the right-of-way, then, correct? All no. of it? No. The entire right-of-way is in lot number forty-eight in that track B. Right. The wall does not leave um, private property and go into the right into the public right way. So the retaining wall is not in the right of way? Correct. It's four feet south of the right of way. It's dimensioned on that drawing. Oh, yeah, sorry, see that. Building, but it's right, it's about a, a foot away from the, the retaining wall is about a foot from the lot line, inside the lot. Roger? If you look at the map on the wall or on, on the plans, yeah, I'm looking at it. But solid L, just north of the building. Right. That's the retaining wall. Right. The property line is just north of the retaining. Oh, wall. okay, I got it. So. Good question. So. They're going to be able to get it in. I guess it's not that much of it, and it's just sloping down to a couple it would foot be high. Required that they put the retaining wall on their own property, not on the. Okay. Property. All right. That's the only thing I had. Any other questions? Just to clarify something on the retaining wall, we'll do what is necessary to make sure that it's done correctly. It's not, not just something we throw up. We already have plans to build a retaining wall regardless. Um, so it's not something we're just going to throw up and just for fun. It's actually whatever needs to be done correctly. Thank you. Uh, one more question. Tracy. Now. Uh, maybe it's already been resolved with the first hangar being built, but I would assume that the sewer line will require some kind of a lift station to get up to the line of the sewer in the street. Yes. Is that... So when we built the first hangar, we already had a line to build the second hangar, and then we found out that there was this issue with the setback. 
Are there any other questions for the applicant or Jerry? The I got one for Jerry on the 99 foot right away on the it's just because it was going to be a bigger highway is that why or it's these things were established in uh, the lot lines were established in 1963. Yeah. I have no idea what the thinking was. Uh, the only thing I can think of other than uh, if you look at the topography, right, it might have been felt that they needed the excess uh, right away to take care of some backsloping and ditches and to maintain the, the integrity of the road. I don't know. I'm speculating that that might be the case. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then we'll move to uh, public input. Would anyone like to speak uh, on this application? In the notice of the meeting, there was an indication they would accept written oh, comments. Yes. Were there any written comments? No comments were received. Okay, thank you. No comments. Okay, I will close the public hearing and move to uh, the next agenda item, which is uh, official action on this variance request. I would entertain a motion if uh, someone is ready. Okay, I'll put a motion out for V2020-002 to approve with the conditions that Jerry had mentioned, the six items, so. In, including the one that was not Correct. written on in our, our packet. And that was the firewall. Yes. Right. Okay. I threw have, another one too. Firewall and easement. I'd, I'd like to see conditions amended, Roger, okay. to include uh, engineering or a diagram of this retaining wall. Just one point of order. You should have a second before you have a discussion about it. I'll second is Thank you, Patrick. Okay, we have a motion and a second discussion. Yes, now right. yeah. uh, to, to amend with the conditions that the retaining wall, you know, detail, something of detail and orientation to, to show how it will function for the property, especially considering the embankment on the north and the west. It is kind of line number number two is kind of states that, doesn't it? Building retaining the wall location to be staked by a registered. Well, that's to be staked though. To be staked isn't the design of it. Oh. You know, the, the, it, whether or not they they right. submerge a full footing in the ground and then build off of that, or if they're using geotextile fabric, or you know or rods, you know, anchor rods. So I, I would like to have that condition included with it. Would you agree to that uh, amendment, Roger? Yes and no. <laughs> no, no, because I'm sure they're not gonna build a building behind a retaining wall that's not gonna fail, but. So you're giving I can them see the benefit of the doubt. How tall is the wall going to be? A couple it's, feet, right? It'll have to be taller than that. Anything over four feet, feet would have, you to, have be to be engineered. engineered right. Yeah. So. And on what kind of a footing? Right. I'm just asking for additional details yeah. to be included. All right. Do you need an amendment to the motion? Well, at least we need the maker of the motion. I concur with what you're saying, that there ought to be an engineered design of this 
retaining wall, including its foundation and how it will tie into and what height it will be. And, exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Tracy. If Roger doesn't agree, we would have to dispose of your motion, Roger. And, and uh, I agree. I mean, uh, it's I can see what you're saying. Yes, but they have a really nice building going in. And right. I, I'm not trying to be difficult. I just I'm right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So you you do yeah, agree, I'll, and okay. Tracy, you agree? Well, as yeah. Second. I, I would. Yes, I would second that. Do we have that, Patrick? Okay. Yes, Any further discussion of the motion? No. no. All in favor of that motion, say aye. 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 Opposed the same? Motion passed. Thank you for the presentation. We'll build it. Open forum number two. Seems, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I've been waiting. <laughs> Mr. Chair, I, you know, I was just in trouble with, the, uh, with what was going on. Congratulations to everybody. Jerry, good job. Appellant. Thank you. Planning Commission. I apologize uh, for the um, half his testimony. Aaron didn't get better. He was cut out and he came on just when he just at the nick of time after that presentation was done. So the the, the, turn, the ultimate re happening was what I think they wanted. But I would reiterate as I did at the council mentioned meeting last, and I would disagree with Councilman Roby. It did not go well. It was very, very, very difficult. Went way over time. And a 20 minute meeting lasted an hour and three minutes because of the difficulty. Safe were straightened out tonight, pretty good. But again, I'm, I'm very, very, very uncomfortable with the way Zoom operates. Huh. School districts in Minnesota have terminated the contract with them. Federal government, two times, two nights in a row. Don't use Zoom. So, if we continue to do that, that's all well and good, but I do apologize to the applicant because of that. Good job. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor, do you have any words of wisdom for us tonight? Uh, de detail engineering or a design that better established how they were going to construct the retaining wall, uh, okay. Mr. That's Mayor. What I, that's what I thought you were going for. Yeah. And uh, I think that's a very good idea. I thought, and I congratulate you for uh, bringing that up. That's a very good thing to do, especially when you're dealing with something critical like that. You do need to have an engineer uh, design for that, and that's, that's very good. Thank you. But, uh, I will have to say, the way the uh, Zoom is working tonight, I think this is very good. Um, I can see everybody there. I can, the, the audio is a little bit, uh, a little bit tough to work on, but that's just another uh, uh, feature that needs to be ironed out. Uh, all in all, I'd say uh, the thing went very well. Um, I would have to ask Mike Maroney, he's at, uh, at his house, how he felt the uh, uh, audio and, and video and everything went. The video was better this time. Uh, the audio was uh, far better. We did not have any feedback coming in. Um, what could be improved is potentially, Patrick, I'm going to guess that the new microphone slash speaker uh, pot is at your table. It may be best uh, to be placed up by the, uh, the center there by Joe. Um, that would help us with the speaking of everybody at the uh, front table there a little bit better, potentially even purchasing one or two more of those um, for future uses could be enhanced. 
Agreed. Good. Thank you. I see Keith on this on the screen. Keith, do you have anything for us? He's muted himself. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I don't blame him. Is there a question for me? He asked if there was a question for him. I just wondered, Keith, if you uh, if you had anything for us. Good. Thank you. Anything else for open forum number two? If not, I will close open forum number two and ask if there's anything else for the agenda. Anything anybody has? Well, this is setting an all-time record, which is okay <laughs> under, the, under the circumstances. <laughs> I will call the meeting adjourned. Thank you all very much.